One of those things where there's a fabric and any thread you pull will link you to every other thread. And uh, in my being in Vancouver, I've recognized some of the plants that are here that I've used for teas or for food or medicinally that are there kind of like weeds. There's blackberries, there's horsetail nettles. Not that many people know about it. So it's a moment of opportunity to learn about these things. Where we're standing is uh, on a kitchen midden, which was the result of uh, the First Nations doing their normal economic activity, which is to extract uh, clams and other seafood from out there and to break it here. Over the years, it accumulates and uh, there, it isn't long before there's enough of a berm here so that when the storms come, this berm prevents the debris that is brought by the storms from leaving. And that creates a field here where previously there was nothing but water. And it's another ecosystem. We're really at a moment of opportunity right now because we've got the traditional knowledge that uh, is very important to save. So for instance, th this region here we're s is a very fortunate re region because not only do we have little bits of Aboriginal forests, indigenous forests with all the biodiversity, but we still have the people that belong with this um, indigenous forest. We have the indigenous First Nation people that have knowledge that they've accumulated over thousands of years. So what I do is that I make a tea with nettles, as we've said. I include horse tails for my bones, uh, raspberry leaves for iron, and uh, you know, you can play with it. So here we are. Just gonna snip a horse tail. Bristliness is the silica, and that's the part that's good for our fingernails and for our hair. So a horse tail is going in the teapot. You'd, for a pot of tea, this is plenty. And I've got again the little salmon berries. You'd, and now we're gonna go for the nettles. And for this, we need gloves. The stem now they've made little roots. So this is a very medicinal part of the nettle. Pull now. And see I... Oh, oh, look at this. Wow. This mixture of grass and... Now these roots, you still have, you have to keep your gloves. So it's a plant that we're used to feel cautious about. But it also happens to be incredibly nutritious in vitamins and in minerals. Well, nettles are a power plant. The other thing is that they're very abundant. And uh, living, so living in this region, I found out that um, you could use them in the spring as spinach. You could make lasagna, you could make pesto, you could make a cream of uh, nettle soup, and you soon develop a real uh, taste for them. They're very aromatic and um, spicy in a way. And uh, it's a general tonic, but it's also anti-inflammatory. Uh, for me, the sea asparagus is pretty good just the way it is. Um, I eat it raw, but um, there are people who cook it and I have eaten it cooked and it's delicious. Have some. 
Well, this is the area that uh, the clams come from, and uh, I'm going to dig for a clam right now. And this is uh, probably one that uh, was left behind by a crow or some other animal. So that's what we're looking for. Sometimes when I dig for them, they squirt. Well, sometimes I go for these mussels, and uh, it's between me and the raccoon because uh, he likes mussels too. So you seldom find them this big. They're usually uh, one or two year mussels instead of this three year mussel. And uh, I enjoy uh, steaming these. In fact, what I do is I steam whole bunches of them all at once. And when you pick them up, they're, I call them festoons of mussels, all attached to each other, all at, growing together. chicken feet. That's feet as in foot. <laughs> 